It's day 193. Of the 29th year and beyond. Well, you know, um, uh, Fleetwood Mac has a song titled Gold Dust Woman. And uh, there's a line that says, did she make you cry, make you break down, shatter your illusions of love? And is it over now? How do you, and do you know how to pick up the pieces and go on? And I was just thinking about that line, uh, shatter your illusions of love. What kinds of things uh, has the possibility to shatter one's illusions of love? And as the lyrics state, are you able to pick up and go home? Are you able to recover from that? At first, I want to go to the illusions of love. <laughs> That's where I first want to go because, you know, first of all, that, you know, sometimes could be a little overly done, or should I say, a little um, animated fairy tale ish type absolutely, thing. Absolutely, absolutely. An illusion. Right. Denoting that it's not reality. Yeah. And, and I think that many people go into. Uh, love relationships and particularly marriages with illusions of love. I mean, and we kind of touched on this before yes, uh -huh. uh, uh, when we talked about fairy tales, yes. right? Uh -huh. But when they've been shattered, uh -huh. how do you go on or can you? Well, I think you can if you come to realization of what love really is. Okay. Okay, so what is really a love relationship? Hmm. And it is all that other stuff that you made up in your mind, or is it what? One, two, three, and four. I okay. mean, well, you know, we define love based mm -hmm. on how God defines love. Right. First Corinthians, the 13th chapter. So <clears throat> it clearly lets us know what love is, what it isn't, what it does, what it doesn't do. Mm -hmm. um, but for those of you who have these illusions <laughs> of love, yeah. and they lived happily ever, ever after. after. They can live happily ever after, but it's not by osmosis. Mm -hmm. It right. doesn't just happen. Yeah. They have to plan and prepare and assess and adapt mm -hmm. all these things. Constantly, over and over and over again. It never stops. It never stops. So it's not like you you know, you know, go into it with a strategic plan, like your Sun Tzu and you have the art of war. You know, um, <laughs> it is about being fully present. Mm -hmm making certain that whatever expectations you have are realistic, mm -hmm. right? Um, but also things that you are unaware of being objective to learning, mm -hmm. uh, being objective to understanding that whatever your plans and whatever your strategy may have been, that they're not etched in stone so much that you're not able to redirect when necessary. Because just like we talked about when we talked about the seven stages of marriage, okay, you get to, um, I think it was stage six where it's sort of explosive, and then seven, I think was the golden years. Or right, somewhere the golden that years, right. But even to get to the golden years, and even when you get to the golden years, you still can have another explosion. You know, something can happen. Someone can get sick. Someone can die. A house can, um, Absolutely. a tornado. I mean, anything can happen. So if you're not really in the... If you're not able to adapt, if you're not able to adjust, if you're not able to say, okay, well, this happened, but we need to do this, and discuss and communicate and um, explore other options, then the illusions of love will always be that. Well, so just be mindful. Whatever ideas, whatever expectations, or whatever illusions <laughs> of love that you may have, if they become shattered, can you go on? The answer is yes. yes. The, the question is, do you want to? Yeah. Until tomorrow, if the Lord says the same. Bye.